Hello, I'm Peter Nizamov and now you will be hearing about our investigation about the protected by the authorities gang of uh, Puamen Rusev that murdered a man in the Burgas city center. Bulgarian Mafia. A young man had to die and after that the Burgas police to lift a finger against the gang of Rusev and Rostek. Investigation by Justitia Bege. Bulgarian Mafia is on power in Bulgaria. The infamous, the infamous mafiot and gang boss Puamen Rusev murdered a man. Who are Rochda's gang and Puamen Rusev? If you are asking, then you are not from Burgas. These are legendarily, hopefully rather small scale but notorious uh, Borchola of the area known for acting more like uh, Wookie Wuchano than anything else. Secretarily, possibly engaged in the same business as the notorious mobster. Rusev and Rochta so strongly personify the aspiration of every proto-mutra from Burgas that they have become local legends which you can read about the sadly humorous stories how to know that you are from Burgas or the truth about Burgas, etc. A trick of the gang is to wait for someone when they are a warm and uh, have 10 people attack them together, stabbing them 10 to 15 times in the buttocks, legs and often above the waist. They were lucky for now because no one had died. Several victims of the gang were saved in the Burgas hospital. We present you the article of the investigative site Justitia Bege called Puamen Rusev from the gang of Rochta with the knife is the cure from the new post office. Bulgaria Justitia Bege is the only media that will show you the truth about the past of the murderer Puamen Rusev became because in Burgas apparently everyone is dependent of him or he fulfills their orders that uh, both the media and the police with the prosecutor office forgot their job descriptions when they hear his name or the name of the people in his gang. The gang of Puamen Rusev has been infamous since 2009 as a part of the Bulgarian Mafia, not only with the fact that there are victims behind them, at least 30 to 40 citizens of Burgas, stabbed with knives and cut with machetes, but also with the fact that there is a special prosecutor's protection for them. After the murder of the new, from the new post office, of a young boy stabbed seven times with knives with a blade more than 30 centimeters long. long. Puamen Rusev, the torture and sponsor of Rochester's gang, was detained. But how long after I introduced to the close relations uh, between the gang and the Burgas law enforcement and justice system? It is no secret that to everyone in the in Burgas that a close relative of Rochester in Burgas prosecutor office patronizes the gang's atrocities. And if this time he intervenes, intervenes in his defense or block the inv investigation against the murderer Puamen Rusev, we, the journalists from Justitia Bege, will publish his name and we will show all, cases, all the cases 
in which we cover, he covered the Bot Trusty Gang. Now the question remains when the Burgas Police and Prosecutor's Office will finally step into their role and detain the other members of the organized criminal group that deals with drugs, rocketeering, beatings and arson. Bulgarian Mafia working with such as this gang is uh, the most dangerous in Burgas and the region. I mean that the Bulgarian Mafia is working with such gangs that and this gang is the most dangerous in Burgas and the region. And all those detained until now and presented by the occasional media such as Flagman Bege, for example, as horrors are little gangs besides that of Rochta and Rusev. The leaders of the gang are probably Puane Rusev, known as Rusev. Dimitar Stoyanov had a PF nicknamed Rochta. He's the member, members of the gang include uh, the famous tattoo artist Atanas Maestro of Nakata Tattoo, pictured. Uh, Jello Krasio, nicknamed Blood and Honor. Uh, they were left free to threaten all the witnesses in the case of their leader Rusev so that the murderer could go unpunished. Let's recall what happened. A 32-year-old will was sent emergency Sur uh, made emergency surgery at the Burgas Medical Center after being attacked by three persons in the new post office area. The regional directorate of the Ministry of Interior Affairs Interior uh, announced on November the 27th, 2022nd the victim was taken to the hospital with seven deep stabbed wounds, wound, wounds, some of them in the chest area. The incident took place around half past 11 a.m. in front of a bank branch of on Stefan Stambov Boulevard and was recorded on cameras that are not accessible at the moment to the public. Other times, the police explore such footage, but not now. After all, it's about their protege. The police told BTA that the victim was criminal, uh, has a criminal record and the knife with which the attack was carried out was seized from the scene. This was reported to the police then, without saying that the attacker is the famous face in Burgas with the performances typically from the 90s, Puamen Rusev, the boss of the Rochta knife gang, which has been harassing Burgas from years. Video footage from nearly Security cameras captured the murderer committed by Rusev. A day ago, 32-year-old Ivan Angelov, who on uh, 27th uh, of November was stabbed at the night, not in the night, at 11 o'clock at noon, in the center of Burgas, by the rehabilitated, accordingly, According to the information of the cops who allowed Puamen Rusev to run among with impunity, died in the hospital. For 10 days, doctors fought for the wife of Angelov, who fell into a coma after the horrific, horrific butchery attack. 
Ivan Angelov's knife blows caused extremely serious damage to his lung, the aorta of the lung and the liver. Plamer Rusev is toothless and well-known mut in the Burgas for, year, for over 10 years and boss of Rochta's knife gang. And according to the Catonial media, Catonial Cational media, which uh, should be correcting the corrupt just juridical authorities, he was the owner and manager of construction company Noble House Limited. Over the past 15 years, there have been numerous investigations against him on various charges. A large proportion of these are stabbings carried out at odds of 10 to 1 or 20 to 1 in favor of the gang. The prosecutor in the case, Christo Kolev, tried to justify the murderer saying that he was rehabilitated by the law. Investigators' documents show that some of the investigations were dropped because the accused dropped their charges after treats and new attacks from other gang members. At the moment, Plamen Rusev is accused of assault with a knife and the Burgas District Court imposed a measure of remind him detention in custody. The boy who died is a originally ordinary boy. His neighbors know him as kind and considerate. He helped everyone. He was killed by Pwame Rusev sniped, the blade of which is 28 centimeters and extremely serious injuries were inflicted on the victim. His wound, aorta, liver were affected and he's alive, he was alive for some days only and only because of the efforts of the medical personnel and the way he got to the hospital. He lost three liters of blood. The prosecution in person... <coughs> of Prosecutor Christo Kolev is trying to crush the case and to save the Bulgarian Mafia again. Because again, Pwame Rusev, there is a ridiculous, ridiculous accusation of attempting murder under Article 2015 or in connection with Article 18 of the Criminal Code for which is a penalty of 10 year, year, years of imprisonment is provided and not an occasion, occasion of murder with hooligan motives or committed in particularly cruel manner seven times the victim was stabbed. According to the article of 2000, uh, 1, 000, uh, 116, of the criminal court and is done whatever where is such a there is such a murder and according to which the sentim, uh, sentences are from 15 to 20 years in prison or life imprisonment without the right of parole to the journalist question about what the murderer was convicted of prosecutor Kolev replied that it had nothing to do with the present case is it relevant, Mr. Prosecutor, that the murderer Rusev was convicted of a group mutineer attack on the security guards in a bar in Sozopo? Sozopo is a big resort on the Black Sea. In addition, there is no doubt that Pwamen Rusev was shown disrespect has shown disrespect to the society with his butchery in the heart of Burgas next to the new post office in front of many witnesses and for the qualification for hooligan motive is 
indisputable. <clears throat> With one soon, he was brought under the post, the most privileged, privileged member, privileged article of the criminal court for a murder that happened in the moment of affect, and was Rusev and his comrades in an affect when they left more than 30 or 40 citizens of Burgas with knife marks on themselves. From the very beginning, we see that the businessman heard of Roch the gang and a well-known face in Burgas, Pamela Rusev, was probably paid his dues and he has until now for this the media and for this the media and the state law enforcement bodies in the form of Ministry of uh, Interior and Prosecutor's Office are sparing of, scum of this comeback which is not sparing at all with its brutal attack and arson on ordinary taxpayers of Burgas. For this form, though, investigative site Justitia BG, which will inform you objectively about his mur this murder and whatever, there will be ret retribution as well as we will announce all the actions of the prosecutor's office and the Ministry of Interior in this case. This insanity must once and for all stop in our city Burgas and the surest way for that to happen is if this gang gets a fair punishment. At the moment, we are sure that the witnesses are being processed by the released bandits, friends of Rusev, and all almost in, inevitable defense is staged, staged. A bit of bank history. In 2017, Pwame Rusev and his gang of Moots invaded armed and in front of dozens of visitors beat up four of the security guards also attacked the manager Hristo Bardukov, secretary of the Commission of the Youth and Sports in the municipality. This happened in a public disco. Dimitar Harawan Piev, Rocheta, who is Pwamen Rusev's loyal companion, and together they lead the gang, was convicted of assault, assault attacking a police officer in 2016, for which he was sentenced of probation. This summer, Pwamen Rusev, Jello, and the the compliant, with this is the nickname of the Jello, the compliant, and Nakata Atanas Maestorov, the tattoo artist that is well known and also have some prizes, prizes for uh, his uh, tattoo job, but he's a big part of this gang. Then the police, they attacked together Pame Rusev, Zelo the compliant and Nakata Atanas Maestorov, the tattoo artist, attacked a boy with knives in a cafe in the city of Azur. In our city, in uh, Wazur housing estate. Then the police swept the case. The Bulgarian mafia which is working in Burgas, it is a public secret that Pwame Rusev is the guarantor of the knife attacks on competitor, competitors 
in the construction business against Naiden Naidenov in Jubox Disco. Then the ex wrestler Naiden from uh, Medarunin Housing Estate from our city was who had clues of finishing works on construction was literally slaughtered. Then again, the police and the Burgess prosecutor's office step swept the case for what time? For what time? Shortly after, Rochester attacked a family with two babies inside the Burgas restaurant in broad daylight. Then Rochester broke into a restaurant in Sovakovs and without explanation attacked a young family with fists and a knife while they were having lunch with their small babies. They simply do not stop and the Burgas prosecutor's office does, does not stop patronizing them and closing their cases for crimes committed by the gang. This is the way the Bulgarian Mafia is alive for many years. His attack was captured on security cameras and the owners filed a complaint. But as always, there was no result. The 2nd Regional Police Department in Burgas covered the case. This is for this publication we recorded footage of the security cameras publicly available and you draw your own conclusions. If you do something like that, will you get away with it? No. Of course we will be tried and convicted of hooliganism, 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 etc. But the gang is Walkerly patronized and still dry. We will keep the Attorney General and our uh, readers uh, in the loop with the truth, with the truth for the truth and developments in this case. We we'll, we hope this case of the Bulgarian mafia will be closed soon, with many years in prison for the murderer and for the gang members. In 2014, they were looking for Rajta uh, for a massacre with a machete in a Burgas disco, but he got away with it again because, as uh, we said above, they have, they have a person in Burgas prosecutor's office at a high level who has been crushing all the cases against them for over 12 years. At that time, we want. He had, um, at that time, the wanted dangerous criminal for the brutal massacre in the Burgas discotheque on Planeta Pioneer Club was called Dimitar Stoyanov Harampiev, nicknamed Rochta. He was also called Hampito. Rochta was still wanted for a long time by the police. But when he was arrested, he was released again, and all the others who was uh, asconded with were put under permanent arrest, under detention. Then there were appeals from the Dominion for everyone who has information about his person, to report to the emergency phone 112 or the first police station and his anonymity is guaranteed and that even then there was another investigation against Rochta for stabbing a person and he was aggressive. On Saturday evening then during the night Rochester was with the people of another no less famous bandit who became famous that uh, summer with the machete attack which he, with, uh, which he cut the plumber plume, plume, uh, Kukata had in Sunny Beach. The scandal between the drunken man and another company 
escalates and someone hits Rochta in the head. Rochta collapsed on the floor and reminds side note <laughs> for about five minutes until his friends take him uh, down. Then he hires himself and pulls out a huge machete going through the customers shooting, I'm going to kill you. The client George Georgiev, 40 years old, was injured in the, in the attack. All the guards rushed to arrest Rochata and he stuck the knife in two places in one of the guards in the shoulder and in the neck near to carotid artery. The wounded man was sent to hospital and Rojda and the company managed to get away with his impunity. The name of an injured guard is Radustin, 30 year old from Radnevo, who was nervously saved by the doctors from Burgas Hospital. On December the 21st on uh, 2013, another gang, young man was uh, surprisingly attacked by Rochta in front of the entrance of the block where he lived. The barrage of punches and kicks of fault uh, he was knocked to the ground and even then the punitive action continued. I saw in peripheral vision how a first amped and my head. I felt balls on my body and my face. Suddenly I fell to the ground where the kicks continued. This is what the victim said. We were following the case and publishing many more investigative articles on Rochta and Plamen Rusev gang. And if he gets away with it, then we will publish all the cops, prosecutors and judges with name with may, who made this possible. Justitia Bege, unlike other media, showed you the truth about the past of the murderer Plamen Rusev and everything about the Bulgarian mafia. Let's see if the colleagues will make amends or continue the collaboration wine with the criminals in Burgas. For us, we will cover this case in details and we will not hide anything from you. Thank you for hearing and watching.